Good morning, everybody. Silas back again today. I am out here crushing some cars. As some of you may know, prices have absolutely skyrocketed. I mean, skyrocketed almost record levels. We're about $20 a ton away from all time record highs from back when the, uh, I think it was 07, 06, somewhere around there. I don't remember exactly now. I was just a teenager at that point in time. But in my adult life, this is by far the highest prices have ever been. So I am just running like a madman, crushing like a madman. I have been crushing absolutely everything. I've had perfect running and driving cars. People are driving them out and scrapping them because they're bringing so much money right now. Just people don't care. They're just scrapping everything they've got. And so I just, if you got a title, I'll buy it and I'll stick it in there and crush it. I've had a lot of people getting really angry at me because I've been crushing some cool stuff. I've been crushing some nice stuff, but man, at these prices, what am I gonna do? I'm selling the stuff for more now than what I was asking for it two months ago. So. I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot of talking in this one because I'm just so busy, I've gotta hustle. If there's something going on that I wanna explain, I'll jump on here and talk some more, but other than that, it's gonna be mostly just crushing cars, unloading stuff, loading stuff, whatever I do over the next couple of days. You may wonder why I'm not crushing them all the way. I'm crushing them halfway. It's because they're gonna be bringing the long trailers and if I crush them all the way and I make them too heavy, it's really hard for me to shove them all the way to the front of the trailer because they snag on stuff and if they're if they're smushed too flat, they, they're just, it's too much weight for me to push, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So if I do it this way, I can still get quite a bit of weight in there, but yet not too much. At the same time, if I, if I crush them all the way, and I send them trailers that look like they're partially empty, they're gonna be like, well, why are we sending our trailers over there? So I need to make the trailers look like they're full, but yet I don't wanna make them too heavy, so that's why I do this. You guys wanna watch me crush a tractor? I know I've had some requests for that in the past. Normally I just throw them in the box, but I think I'll crush this one for you guys here in a little bit. It's almost lunchtime, so I'm gonna head out, but when I come back this afternoon, at some point in time, I'll crush this for you. I guess we're going to go ahead and make this old Mustang 2 go away as well. It's kind of a shame they converted this over to 5 lug. It's a V8 car, automatic, but it's just super, super rusty. And I sold the all the trim around the windows off of it and the taillights back when I first got it. So I pulled the aluminum wheels off of it. It's got a copper radiator I got to pull out. And then after that, it's going to get the squeeze and then it's going to get a tractor on top of it.
I need to make some room, so I came in here and started moving a few cars around. I'm going to go ahead and crush both of these. And then I got an old Dodge beside it. I don't really care about the truck itself, but I need the drivetrain out of it. It's a low mileage drivetrain, and I need that rear end for a spare for mine. And then beside that, I think I have some batteries that I'll have to move. And then there's another one of these Camaros back there. And I believe there's an old Supra or something like that out of the 70s back there. I'm going to go ahead and crush both of those. And then I'll get this Rambler moved out of the way. That's one of my dad's. So I'll set it off to the side. And then I'll grab out that Saab beside it and crush it. Got that old K-Car station wagon back there. I'll probably just go ahead and crush it. And that'll open up quite a bit of room in this area right here. After that, it's a bunch of old cars. So I'm not going to worry about those for now. This old Z28, I am going to go ahead and save the wheels off of it. So I'll set it down here out of the way for now, and then I'll grab it back out and pull the wheels off and crush it another day. I got the car dug out that I needed to get dug out. That Camaro there in the rear, the back one, has a 5-speed transmission in it, and I've had a guy wanting that transmission forever and a day. So I finally got it dug out for him so he can get that. And it's got another cool set of wheels on it, so I'll save the wheels off of both of them, the transmission out of that one. Uh, the other one's just an automatic T-top car, not really any value there, but it does have a good instrument cluster in it, so I'll be sure to pull that out. Other than that, those are probably both going to get the crush. We're getting pretty late in the day now, though, so I'm about to head out. So I'm going to pull the converter off this truck here, put all the tools up, gather all the converters up, and head out. I'll be back again tomorrow, and we'll start crushing some more. Welcome back, guys. It's a cold one out here today. It's snowing, about 40 degrees colder than yesterday. Not exactly enjoyable, but that's okay. We're going to get back to work, and we're going to start crushing some more cars.
that one didn't want to cooperate. That truck was a little bit too wide to fit in there like that. I knew it wasn't going to cooperate, but I made it work anyway. But I am making some pretty good progress in here. You guys know this is just a mountain of cars. I showed it here a while back and I said I want to clean it out so I have room to turn around in here. I've got more than enough room to turn around. I'm going to keep crushing down the line. Got this old K car next up in the list. I'm not sure what all is down here. Some of these have aluminum wheels. I don't know if any of them have converters or not. I don't think they do, but if they do, we'll get those off. But I'm going to keep working my way down through here. I'd really like to get this whole area cleaned out. One good thing about this bitter cold and snow is I had a bunch of people supposed to bring stuff out today. None of them brought anything in, so it gave me a chance just to crush. I had uh, two customers all day long today, and it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's pretty rare, but it's pretty common for when it's bad weather, but it's pretty rare in general. And, and because of that, I was able to get a ton done, so definitely need those days like that. Okay, so I'm pulling the aluminum wheels off of this car. It had an aluminum wheel here on the back of it as a spare. I pull it off, I zip the lug nuts out, I go pick the tire up, I go put it in the truck bed. I put it right here, and I look at the back side of it, and right here in all this leaf junk, this was there. So I'm guessing what happened at some point in time is somebody put their phone up here on top of the tire while they were doing something, forgot about it, it fell down in here and got wedged in between here and the spare tire carrier and they couldn't find it, and maybe it was on silent or something like that, so they just gave up finally. I really doubt it still works. I really doubt it, but you know I gotta take it home, plug it in, and see if it'll turn on. All right guys, I am home and you are not gonna believe this. Check that out. It's actually powering up, I think. It's taking a charge at least. I'm gonna let it warm up, let it charge up for a minute and then we'll see if it'll turn on. If it turns on, that's gonna be unbelievable. Well, good morning, I'm back again today. I let the phone charge for about four hours last night and I couldn't get it to start or I couldn't get it to turn on. I couldn't get it to start, you can tell I'm always messing with cars. I thought it'd be kind of cool if I could have got it to turn on, then I could maybe figure out who it belonged to. Not that the phone's really worth anything, it's an old phone now, so I was looking up online, you can buy them brand new for, you know, 150, 200 bucks. So, it's not like the phone was worth anything. But it didn't work. I'll let the phone sit at home, let it continue to dry out for a couple weeks, and then I'll try it again someday. If it doesn't work, I'll just throw it in the scrap phone pile. Today's agenda is, is they are coming to pick up all these crushed cars. I need to crush, I think, one or maybe two more bundles for that third load, but I've already got two loads completely ready, so it takes them, you know, an hour to get here, 30 minutes to load, hour to get back, 30 minutes to unload, so, I'll have plenty of time to finish crushing that third load.
And there we go, that's three loads out today. Now I've got plenty of room, I can start crushing and stacking again. Once I get two or three more loads saved up, I'll let them know and they'll come back and get some more. I had a bunch of stuff out here that had parts on it that I wanted to kind of keep, but I didn't have time to pull them. So I hired a guy to run out here and I thought it would take him four or five hours. I said, I'll give you 200 bucks. I put a post on Facebook, 200 bucks, take about four or five hours of your time. And he got it all done in about two hours. So he made a hundred bucks an hour. You guys know I had that supercharged Mercedes AMG and in the trunk of it was a rebuilt Magnum 318. And those, you know, from the factory have a throttle body on them. They're fuel injected, but this one was converted over to a four barrel intake. So it's got the RPM air gap, pretty nice setup there. And it's never been used, but it has been rained on a few times. That's why it's got a little bit of corrosion on it, but still that's a pretty rare piece. And the engine's supposedly rebuilt, but I'm not gonna mess with it. So I just left it in there, I'll crush it later. And then on the Mercedes itself, the engine is hydrolocked, it's junk. They uh, wrecked it into a pond. But I figured just for a core, this right here is probably worth pretty good money. You know, the engine itself was probably worth money, but I just didn't feel like messing with it. And then the transmission, the rear end, all that stuff's worth money, but you can't save it all. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna pull off the, the easy part. So he pulled this off for me. I'm sure somebody will be happy to get this. I'm pretty sure this piece is still good. It never got any water in it. So I can sell this as a good part. That should be a fairly high dollar piece there. That's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 to $1,200. For all this here that piece there i looked it up once before i think these are 400 and some dollars new and obviously this one's new but it's not new at the same time if you know what i mean so it's probably worth about 250 or so i'd guess both of these trucks here have throttle body 350s in them so i had them pop the throttle bodies off for me these always sell for pretty good money these are usually about 50 bucks a pop just for not guaranteed but everything still moves freely on them type of deal and these two cars here just had a few parts on them. I had them pull all the dash parts out of them that were good. Temperature controls, instrument clusters. There's a chunk of money laying right there. Other than that, there's not a whole lot left on these cars. I already sold the steering column out of this one. And the rest of the dash is pretty stripped out. I mean, there's other odds and end trinkets on this car that would sell, but you know, I don't have time to save it all. So I'm just gonna do the easy stuff that I know sells and crush the rest. This one here, I just gotta pull the battery out of it and then knock a hole in the gas tank to make sure it's drained. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull the wheels off of it. Then it can hit the crusher. This one here is a five-speed car. These are both V8 cars, but that was an automatic. This one was a five-speed, and I have that five-speed sold. So whenever he has time to come down and pull it, he's going to pull it. The string column in this one's all sorts of messed up, so I'm not going to mess with saving it. They've cobbled it up pretty bad. And then you may have noticed that big truck cab that I put up at the very last on that last load. Uh, that was an old 61 or 2 Ford truck. I've been saving that thing forever for the instrument cluster that was in it. That's like a hundred dollar instrument cluster. I just couldn't quite bring myself to crush it. So got that out of there. It had the chrome around the windshield. Pretty rare piece, probably worth 150, 200 bucks, but they're really hard to pull, really hard to package. And you know, I just, once again, I can't save it all. So I smashed it down with the forks and shoved it in the dumpster. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drive the truck in here, gather up all these parts that he pulled off for me. And then the lady that's buying all my noses off my old trucks that I cut off the other day, she's buying this as well. So I'm gonna load it up because we're gonna go back out there tomorrow morning. Sean's gonna meet me and we're gonna finish cutting up that bus and that old 50 Dodge and get everything loaded up and done. And this just came in for scrap. I haven't crushed one of these in a long time. An old Mercury Capri convertible. And I remember when I was a kid, these were pretty nice cars. But not this one. Convertible top's all ragged out. It's just a crusher. He kept the, uh, the headlight buckets out of it. And then he pulled the catalytic converter on the radiators, all that sort of stuff. So it's ready to crush. I'm pretty sure any good parts in this thing have been rotted from getting rained on for so long to where they're not probably worth saving. I might look it up online, just make sure there's no easy popular parts that are easy to pull, easy to package, that sort of stuff. That's usually what I'll do is I'll look something up and if I see that in the last three months, you know, 15 of a certain item off of a particular car have sold, then I'll go ahead and save mine as well. But if I see the only one part has sold in the last three months, and there's 30 of them listed on eBay, that means it's not a popular part. I'm not gonna bother saving it. And then this fine jewel here, I was gonna crush it, but Mr. Good Players needs the driver's window out of it. So I set it over here. When he gets time, he's gonna come pull that. He's supposed to bring me a junk car next week. So we'll just do some trading. All right, everybody, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I am done for the day. I'm gonna head out. Got everything loaded up in the truck. Got, I believe, everything rounded up here, so I don't have to worry about nothing here till Monday. Like I said, my next video, I'm gonna be cutting up that old bus, and I'll probably just make a video all about that on its own. I think that'd be kind of neat to see it go from start to finish. 
I don't know if I have any footage anymore of when I first got that bus. I need to check and see. If I do, that'd be really cool, but otherwise, I'll just record tomorrow. If you enjoyed this one, please let me know what your favorite part was. Give me a thumbs up. Keep checking back. You never know what's going to happen next. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.